Hi, this is Mike Trujillo from Cakewalk, and in this edition of Get Started, we're going to be setting up MIDI devices and control surfaces. First, we're going to go to the Options and select the MIDI devices. Here is where you will see all the MIDI devices that you've installed on your system. This list will be completely different depending on the specific devices you have previously installed drivers for on your computer. For instance, on my system, I'm using an APRO keyboard controller and also a VS700 control surface for Sonar. It's a good idea to only check the devices that you'll be using in order to avoid clutter in some of the other menus in Sonar. So I'm going to select the APRO1 and APRO2 as well as the VS700 console in the input and the VS700 console in the output. Now if you select Use Friendly Names to represent MIDI devices, then you can change the name for a device by clicking in the Friendly Names section of the list. I'm going to change the name of the APRO2 to APRO Control, as this is the control section of the MIDI from the APRO. Now we're ready to move on to setting up the control surfaces. First let's go to Options and select Controller Surfaces. To add control surfaces to Sonar, click the yellow plus sign to open the Controller Surface Settings menu. Now I'm going to select my VS700 from the drop-down list and select the VS700 console as the input and output ports. If your device's MIDI ins or outs don't show up in the drop-down, you can access the MIDI devices list by hitting the MIDI devices button and checking the correct inputs and outputs. And always remember to install the latest drivers for your device or it will not appear in the list. Since my APRO keyboard has controls, I'm going to add these to Sonar also by selecting the APRO from the drop-down, APRO control for the input port, and none for the output port. Other settings in this window are checked boxes for ACT and WAI, or Where Am I? By selecting ACT, this will allow the controller to use Sonar's Active Controller technology. For more information on Sonar's ACT functions, go to cakewalk.com where you can find topics on the forum and videos on the subject. The WAI, or Where Am I, is an indicator to show you which channels are being affected by your control surface at a given time. You can select the color of this indicator so that you can use different colors to differentiate between different controllers. You can also select if the Where Am I indicator will appear in the track view, or the console view, or both. If we look in the console view, you'll see the Where Am I indicator for the APRO controller as the red strip at the bottom of the channel strips, and the VS700 as the blue strip. Now because I have 8 faders on my VS700C, when I push the bank button down, you'll see the indicator move from channels 9 through 16, to 1 through 8, and so on. The Where Am I indicator is also available in the track view here. In both views, the Where Am I indicator can also be moved by grabbing and dragging with the mouse. Also accessible in the toolbar section at the top of the window are the properties for the control surfaces we added earlier. We can select which surfaces properties we want to see in this list and then click the Properties button. The appearances and features in these menus will differ depending on your individual equipment, but this is where you can make changes to the functions of your control surface. Now that we have our control surfaces set up, let's check and make sure that we're getting a MIDI signal from our APRO keyboard. First let's insert a MIDI track and then maximize the channel. In the input drop-down indicated by the I, I'm going to select the APRO1 Omni. Now this channel will get its input signal from all MIDI channels coming from my APRO keyboard. Now I'm going to hit some keys on my APRO and you can see the MIDI signal coming in on the meter here. Another way you can see the MIDI activity without opening a project is to look at the icon in your Windows toolbar at the bottom of your screen while Sonar is open. The red light on the left indicates MIDI signal coming into the computer, and the right side indicates MIDI coming out. When I press the keys on my APRO, you'll see the input light on the left come on. This means that we have signal transmission from the APRO to Sonar. After taking these steps, you'll be ready to start making projects with MIDI and controlling functions within Sonar.